we're going to look at something called reflexive verbs. Now, these are strange little verbs in the German language, and we have a few of them in English as well. And the first question is, of course, what do they mean? But the second question is to try to figure out the logic. They're saying something that's pretty obvious, but the way they say it is what's not obvious. A reflexive verb is when the action that the subject does comes back to the subject. For example, I look in a mirror and I see myself. I press a play button on an audio file and I hear myself. So it's, I'm doing something to myself, right? I might look at myself in the mirror and decide that I want to get myself a new haircut and perhaps buy myself a new shirt. Those are all reflexives, whenever you hear that myself, himself, herself kind of thing. Let's take a look at how it works in German. We're going to look at a weird kind of sentence called a reflexive sentence, using a reflexive verb where the action of the subject comes back to the subject. What does that mean? Uh, let's think about it in simple English sentences. I look in a mirror and I see myself. I listen to an audio file and I hear myself. I'm playing with a knife and I cut myself. The action of the subject returns to the subject and that's what makes it a reflexive sentence. Take a look at this. Ich putze mir die Zähne. When you see a reflexive sentence, you want to ask two questions. What does it say and what does it mean? What does it say? Ich putze. I scrub. I brush. I clean. Ich putze. Mir, to myself. I brush to myself the teeth. All right, ich putze mir die Zähne. But what does it mean? I'm brushing my teeth, right? Nobody talks like that. I brush to myself the teeth. Well, actually, Germans talk like that, but in English we don't. So what does it say versus what does it mean? You can figure this one out. Ich wasche mir die Hände. I wash to myself the hands. Notice that your body parts are never your own. It's not that I'm washing my hands, I'm washing the hands. Ich wasche mir die Hände, right? The mir lets me know whose hands I'm washing, because if it's just the hands, it could be his hands or her hands, but ich wasche mir die Hände, I wash to myself the hands, which means simply I'm washing my hands. Ich beeile mich. Okay, simple sentence, three words. Ich beeile mich. Notice the pronunciation, beeile. Um, I am doing something to myself. What am I doing? I'm accelerating myself, right? Which is a way to say I'm in a hurry. Ich beeile mich. Mich is the reflexive. I'm doing this to myself. I'm accelerating myself. Ich kämme mir das Haar. I comb to myself, the hair. Again, your body parts are never your own. I'm combing the hair, so the natural question arises, whose hair are you combing? Ich kämme mir das Haar. I'm combing to myself, the hair, right? And of course, in natural English, I'm combing my hair. That's all you need to know. So, think about the structure of these sentences. This little weird thing, I'm doing X, unto myself, right? I'm combing the hair, I'm brushing the teeth, washing the hands, to myself. So remember, these sentences aren't saying anything unusual. It's all very ordinary stuff. I brush my teeth, I comb my hair, I wash my hands. But the way they say it, the structure is what's different. Remember that your body parts are never your own. I wash the hands to myself. I comb the hair to myself. I brush the teeth to myself. So ordinary everyday sentences with simple meanings, but the structure is what makes it interesting. That's all for now. Goodbye. Auf Wiedersehen. And tschüss.